Today I'm going to show you how to work out the nth term of a decreasing linear number sequence. First of all, write the numbers 1 to 5 above the top of your sequence. So remember, what we're trying to do is look for a rule which takes us from these position numbers to the numbers in the sequence. To do this, first of all, figure out what the sequence is decreasing by. As you can see, it's going down in twos. So this tells us it has something to do with the minus two times tables. So I'm going to multiply each of these position numbers by minus two. One times minus two is minus two. Two times minus two is minus four. Three times minus four is minus six. Four times minus two is minus eight. Five times minus two is minus ten. Now all we need to do now is figure out how we get from these uh, minus two times tables to the numbers in the sequence. As you can see, if we add on nine to minus two, it gives us plus seven. And this works for each of the other terms in the sequence. So all we need to do then is multiply the numbers at the top by minus two and then add on 9 and that will take us to the number in the sequence. So in algebra we can write this down as minus 2n because we times the numbers at the top by minus 2 and then plus 9. Let's do one more example. So this time we've got a sequence which goes minus 2, minus 5, minus 8, minus 11, minus 14. So again, write the numbers 1 to 5 above the top of the sequence. So this time our sequence is decreasing by 3 each time. So this tells us to multiply the position numbers at the top by minus 3. So we've got 1 times minus 3 is minus 3, 2 minus 3 is a minus 6, 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, 4 times minus 3 is minus 12, 5 times minus 3 is minus 15. Now what do you do to these minus 3 times tables to give you the numbers in the sequence? Well, if we add 1 on to minus 3, that will give us minus 2. And as you can see, this works for each of the other numbers in the sequence. So to get the numbers in the sequence, we need to multiply the position numbers by minus 3 and then add on 1. So therefore, the nth term will be minus 3n plus 1. 